do you see um potential gene editing being um relevant in this field in any way in the future because we've seen gene editing come into play yeah. with a lot of things and it seems to be getting more so what do you think about that well while i'm my my research is not necessarily heavily involved in genetic mm. i think we can agree that there is no gene that is causing ms mm. um we know that there are some genetic changes that are associated with higher risk of developing ms but they do not necessarily necessitate the development of ms there have been very exciting work over the last two years finding some SNPs that are also associated with a more severe disease course. But I think I will be very surprised if we end up using gene editing to manage MS. I don't think we have um, the target for that in comparison to some other neurodegenerative conditions that are really influenced by gene changes. Yeah be interesting I, I always wonder because you know you have this you know I was talking to someone about Epstein-Barr earlier and so this idea is that like everyone a lot of people most people we can say have it but everyone who has MS def usually yeah. has pretty much has it 100 percent so there's clearly some sort of underlying process that maybe might make people more susceptible we don't know and so it'll be interesting to see what we discover moving forward why some people react that yeah. way or what's going on in their processes or maybe it's not you know it's definitely a combination of things mm -hmm. you need to have the genetic predisposition you need to have the ebv infection you need to have other environmental factor for example low vitamin d level for the disease process to start um it's i i will be very surprised if by removing the genetic component of that that we will not see ms anymore i think this is very unlikely yeah. interesting